Alright guys, this is going to be a, a two-part video on how to uh, create a topography from uh, Google Maps through Google SketchUp, then AutoCAD, and then finally into Revit. Um, I apologize in advance for the uh, arbitrary yelling and beeping. Uh, the Red Sox won the World Series about an hour and a half ago, uh, and I'm a mile away from Fenway, so it is pretty loud. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with deleting this figure here. Um, we're going to go into file. That is a new file, by the way. Completely, there's nothing here. I haven't touched or changed anything, uh, so rest assured. Go to file, geolocation, add location, select region. Once you have, you know, the area that you want kind of chosen, just go ahead and select region and then grab. This will put it on your project. Uh, on the origin, go ahead and give you the top view. Uh, draw a rectangle from the origin out. And then make sure you're taking in the whole site plan. Go ahead and erase these first few lines. Now you're going to add multiple planes. So hit option if you're in Mac side and control if you're in the Windows. You'll see a little plus show up next to the move symbol. Select your face. I'm going to bring mine up 30 feet. And then hit enter. Divide that, the divide sign, and hit 15. Because that will give me 15 different planes. Alright, there they are. Next up, escape out of that tool, select your uh, original topo. You'll know because it's red. Go to File or View Tool Palettes and make sure Google is selected. Then you can go and find the Google one. And then you want to play with Toggle um, Terrain. Hit that. That'll bring it up through your different planes. You can see it popping up for there or over there. That's okay. Um, and then select your terrain again right click intersect faces with model okay now you can delete all of your planes select them hit delete and then go to the top view actually let's take a quick peek here yep you can definitely see that there's uh, elevation change Go to camera, parallel projection, that is key. Make sure you actually have it selected. And then go to SketchUp or File, ex Export, 3D Model. Um, 3D Model DWG. Save it. All right, and now we can get to it in AutoCAD. Watch out for uh, part two.